Good afternoon. My name is Tyra and this is Try a Garden. I am a home gardener in Maine, Zone 5B, and I'm going to talk today about winter sowing. This week, earlier this week, I did a video where I showed you how to do winter sowing in a milk jug. Uh, winter sowing is getting your seeds started outside, just as Mother Nature does. Uh, you add soil, your seeds, some water, tape it up, put it outside for the winter, and in the spring, as the temperatures warm up, Mother Nature will wake up the seeds, they'll start to grow, and you'll have seedlings for your garden. So people have asked, I don't have milk jugs, or I don't have water jugs, and uh, what else can I use? Actually, my favorite thing to winter sow in are salad containers. I um, feel like a lot of people who maybe don't drink milk still have salad. It's easy for friends who want to save them for you. Sometimes it's hard to get milk jugs from friends because they can be stinky or they take up a lot of room, but most people um, are picking up salad greens. So um, just to go over the basics of winter sowing, you're going to need a container. So I'm going to show you how to do that today in a lettuce container. You're going to need some seeds. I'm using the marigold seeds that I pulled out the other day. Again, I like marigold seeds because they're, especially for first time winter sowers, they're easy to work with, they're fairly big, uh, they have a very great germination, and most people do want to have some marigolds in their garden. Uh, the soil that I like to use is a Pro Mix. This is a two cubic bag. So far I've used about a half a bag to do 70 jugs, so you're really going to get a lot out of one big bag. You're going to want something to mark the outside of your container. Some people will use Sharpies. I have found that Sharpies will fade in the sun. Some people try to write in pencil on the paper. That could work. I have actually switched to nail polish. So you can see I've already labeled this one. I'm actually up to number 80. Uh, nail polish for me is working. It's not fading in the sun. It would be really great if you had an old bottle and you could just add a little bit of nail polish remover and shake it up to um, get it liquid again and that way you could use up an old bottle. One of the things I like about winter sewing is it's a very inexpensive way to get started. You can use the things that you have in your home to get started. You don't have to buy anything fancy and um, it gets you going pretty quickly. You are going to need something to cut your container. These are a little more flimsy than the milk jugs. Again, I like a high quality utility knife. Some people are using um, glue guns and they're just touching it to the plastic. It makes a hole, boom, 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 you're done. Some people are drilling holes. I think the uh, salad containers are a little bit harder to drill in. The utility knife is what's working best for me. Uh, you're gonna need some tape. Even though these close pretty tightly, I still do like to do a little bit of tape. You can see I have one here that I did and it's great because you put some tape on and if the wind starts blowing you're not running outside trying to capture the tops. Um, as I said in the last video, even though we're labeling the outside, I like to add a label on the inside so that if for any chance you lost the top or if it got separated when you start peeling it apart, you're going to have something inside to let you know what it is. And as always, people want to know how deep am I supposed to plant my, put the soil. So I like to bring out a ruler. Once you establish a visual cue for yourself, you probably don't need to measure them all the time. So normally we want three to four inches in a container that we're going to winter sow. Unfortunately, if you can see, four inches is almost at the top. So that's really not going to work for the salad container. You might want to look more at the three inch. You can hear our rooster in the background. He's very excited about winter sowing too. And you could try two inches. Again, this YouTube channel is try a garden. You don't know until you try. So I like to try everything. Um, I feel pretty good about filling it about half up. Um, as I said last time, you want to have pre-moistened soil. When I work inside, I'll use the sprayer from the kitchen, but when I'm outside, I add the water and I like to get it almost like a peanut butter consistency so that it sticks together. One of the reasons that I like to use a lettuce container, because it's a lot easier for me to cut, we'll remember that we're gonna cut holes in the top for ventilation. I do a V and I fold it down 
you could do the V and cut the bottom out if you don't want any of the plastic left behind. But again, if you're doing a hundred of these and you're trying to get through them pretty quickly, again, you want some drainage on the bottom. Cut some holes, folded it down. Again, you could cut this little tag off and pull it out. Um, I don't want little pieces of plastic in my dirt. So for me, it's easier just to leave them intact. I also do a little cut on the side, just in case we get a really heavy rain and it's hard for it to get through we're able to let it drain that way. So you'll notice that because you don't have the height that you do in a milk jug, you're not going to want to plant things like sunflowers or hollyhocks or tall flowers. You're going to want to plant things that are shorter and maybe you're going to pull out sooner. I, again, like the marigold for that reason. Um, these are going to come up. It's going to be really easy to work with them. Once you've cut your holes, just like winter sowing, you're gonna be able to add the soil. Again, one of the benefits of using lettuce, if you're someone who likes to use a soil block, that's very difficult to do, probably impossible to do in a milk jug. But in a lettuce container, you're gonna be able to do that. If you haven't worked with a soil block before, um, there are some videos about it. I'll make one and post it um, another day. But you're gonna to wanna to really get into the soil, push it around, make sure that it's full. You can see that it's pretty full. And then you're gonna put it in your container, squeeze it down, and release. You can see that you're getting these little blocks. And in that way you can add your seed, when it's time to pull it out, you'll be just pulling them. You can use a knife to pull them out. So for people who like seed, seed blocks, especially if you're going to plant more than one kind of thing in here, it is great. There's a little hole. You put in your seed. You cover it up and you're done. So if you like seal to use soil blocks, I will highly recommend using a lettuce container. If you're not going to do that, then you can just fill it up with soil. And again, I'm going to fill mine up about halfway, which is going to be between two and a half and three inches. You're not going to get a full four inches in a lettuce container. I have blocked it on the side so I know where my three inches, but it's about halfway up. So I have filled up my container. Again, my marigold seeds. For first time winter sowers, I really think they're a great way for you to be able to handle them. You can sprinkle them in. Some people just take their seeds and sprinkle all over. Whatever comes up, that's good for them. If you like to be a little more precise, you can place them in rows. Of course, no guarantee by the end of the winter they're all going to be there perfectly. My rooster is very excited about winter sowing. They're probably going to eat some of these things that I'm growing. So you can see I have all my seeds. Again, with marigolds, they're easy to see. If you want to use something like a lettuce, you'll see that the seeds are very small. Very small. Most people are just going to use the sprinkle method. They're just going to kind of sprinkle through, trying to spread where they can. Once you have that done, you're going to cover it up just with a light layer, whatever the directions on the back of your seeds say. You're going to close it up, tape the sides down so you don't have to worry about wind. And put it down in your yard and you wait until the spring to open it up. So just like the milk jug that I showed you the other day, you are cutting holes in the top. You're cutting holes in the bottom for ventilation, for drainage. So for ventilation and for water to get in, for it, the excess water to drain out. We're using pre-moistened ProMix. We are labeling it. I'm labeling it with nail polish. You can find um, fade resistant markers online. 
you could use a Sharpie. I do believe if you use a Sharpie, you will um, have some trouble keeping it from fading. The other thing I really like about the salad is one of the things I often forget and then go back and do is the label. So you can just stick that label in here. So I have a number 80 on the outside. I will put that in my Excel spreadsheet, which I'll print out and bring out to the garden when I get ready to transplant. I have the label inside in case anything happens on the outside. It is taped and secure. And then I'm gonna leave it outside with the other ones that I have planted. I'm just gonna show you a few things that I have used in the past and that might be helpful to you. So you already know about the milk jugs. We did the lettuce today. Soda bottles are great. You can't get a lot in these, but you could put a sunflower or two if you wanted something taller. Um, our family likes to drink Arizona iced tea. The only thing I will say about these containers, they're thicker plastic, so you want to be quite careful when you're cutting them that you don't cut yourself. Juice containers work great. Some people like to plant things inside in containers like egg crates or egg um, carriers. There's really not enough room for soil in here. These would not be good for winter sowing. Um, these might be fun inside for little kids, but for um, winter sowing, there's just not enough space for the soil. One of the things that I have used in the past that has worked really well are these rotisserie chicken containers. Um, you can see that I have done several of them this year. These guys are already, some of them already have holes in the top. And then it's very easy to slice holes in the bottom. These are easy to cut. And these are great because they do have the head space. So if you wanted a taller plant and the lettuce container wasn't gonna work, try a rotisserie chicken container. I have used, someone gave us a cake and um, instead of throwing this away, I thought, all right, we'll try it this year. I have not tried it in the past but I just took some cups, some plastic cups, put some soil in it, as you can see, moisten the soil. Uh, one thing is if you are gonna try this one, I would really pay attention to it in the spring to make sure that it doesn't dry out. My guess is these are gonna dry out and you're gonna need to add some little bit of water. There are some other containers like that, again, I think this would be too shallow for you to be able to do anything with it. What you could do, though, is an experiment, which I have not done yet, but I'm doing this year, and to take the cover off and maybe add it to a pot. So maybe plant something in a pot, cover it with the plastic container. So I will be looking for a pot about this size to see if I can use that. And then I wouldn't have to up pot anything in the spring. So that's one thing you can do. If your family likes snacks, especially if you buy big snacks at big box stores, these are these great uh, big thick plastic containers would work well for winter sewing. Again, this is very thick plastic. You're gonna need to drill holes in the top. I, on this kind of container, I would definitely look at a drill. Um, you're going to need to get something that's pretty strong. If you try to cut this with a utility knife, I think you run the risk of slipping and cutting yourself and I don't believe you would be successful getting it through the top. Um, again we have these little cherry tomato containers. You could try these if you have them and you want to give them a try just know these are very likely going to dry out um, so that might not be the best bang for your buck. If you're a family that gets some Trader Joe's dark chocolate, I have tried these in the past. These for me are great if I want to give things away to people and I don't want to handle a big milk jug or um, you know the lettuce containers can be kind of flimsy at the end. This has been um, a nice way for me to share what I have winter sown with people. It's manageable, it's easy, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, what else do we have over here? Pretty much anything that's plastic that you can cut holes in and put some soil in and it's sturdy. I have also started experimenting with plastic bags. There are some people who have done that in the past. They use Ziploc bags, they cut holes and use that to drain the soil. Uh, last year I did one in a potato bag which actually worked quite well. 
it's pretty thin. It's not the best use, but if you don't have um, access to milk jugs or if you really just want to get something going, you can see that this potato bag has lots of holes in it already. Not the perfect container, but you would be able to do this. I would close it at the top and put it out with the other ones. And that is what I have for today. I just want to turn the camera around and show you that I have a lot of my containers already outside. They're in the sun, they're labeled, they're in order, which also helps if something fades. I have some more started over there. So I thank you for joining me today uh, here in Maine in Zone 5B where we do a little more winter sowing, this time in salad green containers and taking a look at other containers that might work for you if you don't have access to milk jugs. I wish you well and I hope you'll join us again.